Basket making is a slow process. It takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of practice doing this. Because sometimes it'll run off on you. And when you're not used to doing this, you can easily cut that split right off. Then when I do this, I usually start from the thin end.
my weaves. Different sizes here. See, this is a quarter inch cutter. This is half inch and this is three eighths. And I got one here. Well, it's the same thing. See the teeth is closer together. That's for smaller baskets. And I, uh, depending on the size of the splints I need, I'll take a form. Oh, yeah. This one. I'll put it right in here. Then I'll mark this. No, I, I, let me see. I'll put this in here. Spread this out, put it together, the long ones go one way, the short ones go another. And you put, put it all together like this. See, like this one here, I'll put this down first, then I'll put these in here. Until I get to a certain size. Then I'll bend it. Bend these up here all the way around. Then I'll start my weave. Like that. So I'll split this right, right down to here. So this gives me an odd number. When I start weaving, I'll just keep going round and round till I get to the top. And then what do you do at the top? You put this on, and this one, there's another one back of this, same width with that. Then I'll have the, these rims, put it on, take a... A splint like this go around, tie it here, there, and then I'll start, start it, like, uh, putting it around like this. When I get it up to where I started, then I go back till it gets to, back to where I started again. And tuck it in somewhere, somewhere. Wait, underneath, behind this rim, it hides, hides the, the beginning and where it ends. A lot of work, but I like doing that. Well, when I quit working, when I get retired working, then I went into a basket business. So how do you make the handles? That's another one. This would be straight. Cut this here, this here, make the ends the same. Then I'll, uh, first I'll put it in the water. Then I'll bend these. I'll put these in here when I get that eye in there. Just here. Just 
pull it like that. You've got to go through a lot of different things that you've got to know how to do. My draw knife needs sharpening. It's not quite as sharp as it used to be. How many baskets do you think you've made? Thousands of them. Thousands? And they're all over the world? Yeah, so there are some in Europe somewhere. Some guy came down from England, I think. And he wanted to take something home that was made here. So he bought a basket and took it home. So do you sign your baskets? Huh? Do you sign your baskets? Sometimes if they want me to sign it. Do you have a stamp or do you just sign your name? I got a stamp somewhere, but I don't know where, where it is now. Okay. My wife bought it for me one time. She went to the corner and had it made. Thing they taught you about making baskets? Well, how to, how to find the right logs out in the woods to begin with. You know, you have to cut it in, notch it, see how thick the layers are. So is there still a lot of black ash around? Not much. Maybe there is now because there's not too many making baskets. Where before, just about every, everybody made baskets until the, when the Second World War started and there was a lot of work and they didn't do that anymore. They, a lot of them worked at the Alcoa plant and some done ironwork, carpenter, whatever, whatever they they wanted to do. My, my grandfather, he, he, he named me that because that was his name. He did. La Johanna is what? That means firekeeper. So I think in a way you have kept the fire going, at least a basket making here. Mm -hmm.